Thank you for watching us on YouTube. But did you know that if you're on the go, you can get the full show as a podcast now? You can get our morning breakdown of the most important topics facing our country, news not being covered by the mainstream media, interviews with change-making progressives, and info on what you can actually do about all this. Search for The Damage Report on your favorite podcast app and subscribe so you know when new episodes are ready to go. Paul Manafort already was convicted of many charges, was facing a second trial coming up soon. That now looks like it's not going to happen because Paul Manafort has reached a deal with Robert Mueller's office. He's gonna plead guilty to two charges. Uh, one count of conspiracy against the US and one count of conspiracy to obstruct justice due to attempts to tamper with witnesses. Um, that will add on to the, I believe, nine counts he's already um, been convicted of. Prosecutors will, uh, as a result of that, drop the five remaining charges against him, including money laundering, tax fraud, failing to disclose foreign bank accounts, violating federal foreign lobbying law, and lying to the Department of Justice. Uh, but the court filing suggests that he does admit that he did those things, but he's got this deal, so he's not going to actually face those charges. Uh, and important to note that Donald Trump is not mentioned in Friday's filing, nor is Manafort's role in his campaign. So that is the information we had relatively early today. Yes. But then, breaking news, dramatic news, Mueller prosecutors agree, it's so breaking that there's typos. Agreement with Manafort, a cooperation agreement, a 17 page uh, agreement of cooperation. It is not clear yet what sort of cooperation that agreement will actually entail. Um, and so it is possible that this will not go into the campaign or into Russia, you know, more than it already has with uh, Manafort. Um, we don't know uh, right now, but there is going to be a bit more flipping going on. And it's so difficult to know the extent to which he'll cooperate mm -hmm. and what he'll cooperate on, and the extent to which people who have cooperated in the past, who have, uh, you know, decided that they will take the deal what they have done, what they have said. And yeah, so- We still know so little. And and will we ever know? Will it ever come to light what Manafort shared about Trump or anything? Because I wonder what, also I wonder what it looked like in his mind when he was considering whether or not to take a plea deal. Yeah. Like what, because it seemed for the original trial, he was either relying on a pardon or he was in such deep doo-doo with people he was afraid of yeah. that he decided there was no reason for him to take the plea deal. Now, with him taking the plea deal, to me, it seems like, well, he wasn't as afraid or he's definitely not gonna talk on whatever charges were brought in the original case. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it just remains to be seen. What yeah, do you, what do you sure. make of this, John? Well, I do feel like uh, we, can, we don't know that he actually knows anything aside from all of the many crimes that he's committed. Obviously, he's. He's one of the biggest criminals around, but does he know anything about Donald Trump? We don't know, and this doesn't necessarily bring us closer to that. It might be bringing us closer to that. And for that reason and that reason alone, we are now in what I would call uh, the danger zone. I've you didn't I thought of that term, that right. it's the danger zone. I believe it's pronounced danger zone. The danger zone, and the reason is that if he knows something, definitely danger zone. If he doesn't know anything, Donald Trump, who's paranoid and stupid, will think that he's in the danger zone. And that means that we might be facing a pardon. It's not impossible still that Paul Manafort, even after reaching this agreement, could be pardoned by the president. Either in advance of these uh, the two charges or for the ones that he'd already faced. That could still happen anytime now. And today's Friday. Friday is action day in 2018. That's amazing. Anything could happen. It's, Anything it was except reasonable stuff or good stuff. And this is a, well, it. but then again, you know, we're covering this story. Mm -hmm. We are quasi leading with it. But this is the weekend of the hurricane. That's true. So this is a good time on a Friday of a hurricane to do this kind of stuff. And if I looked mm -hmm. at Trump's Twitter at, on a normal day, in a normal case, Trump would present us with an avalanche. A, a veritable hurricane of his own of that guy is a, he's, he's a stoolie, he's a rat, mm -hmm. he's a turncoat. Mm -hmm. But all he's been doing is retweeting every federal agency that seems to be doing something about the hurricane, which is yeah. a good thing. I hope that they are prepared and can save people. Um, but this is something that for most news organizations is not going to get as much reporting. Probably not, the hurricane is gonna take it. And, and Trump can probably count on the fact that he will completely bungle the response to the hurricane, which will generate its own cycles of news. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notified of our new videos. And catch the damage report every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.